it's a really good climate at the moment for, for, for the online producer, in my opinion. It's definitely a viable business plan to live off beat. But like I said, you just got to have your own lane. So, you know, I'm, I'm definitely happy with how it's going and, you know, motivate to just kind of see where we, where we can all take it. Because, I mean, there's, there's so many dope producers out there now and especially online that I'm hearing. So it's, you got to stay motivated as well. And, you know, there's definitely a lot of inspirational stuff out there. Let, let's talk some more motivation then. Your story was really interesting when you told it to me a little while ago, which was you you actually didn't have that strong of an infrastructure as far as your business was concerned. You know, your business of selling beats was concerned before you quit your job and just went all in. You know, when you're working in a nine to five, and I'm sure all of you guys can relate to this, it's like you work to your nine to five, you struggle through that. And then the first thing you want to do is like just turn the beat machine on and just rock out. Then to have to go and look at marketing and look at YouTube and look at SEO and look at all of that kind of stuff. For me at the time, it just wasn't something that I wanted to do. And I think my beat business starting out suffered for that. If I could go back and, and sort of start again from when I started selling beats online, I definitely would have put more time into looking at marketing techniques, how to sell beat rather than just focusing focusing solely on the beat. So when I quit my nine till five, you know, like I mentioned when when we spoke about it, I really wasn't in a good place financially. I didn't have much money to live off, and it was actually a massive risk for me at the time. It was kind of one of those where I, where I was like, okay, well, shit, am I actually going to do this, or am I just going to stay working this nine till five like plodding along? So I just had enough one day, and I'm sure you know we've all been there. Um, and I kind of just said, you know what, I'm just going to go all in. I put everything I had into just making beats and then figuring out how to market them. Mostly all the information that I got was from YouTube. You know, YouTube's a, an amazing resource in terms of marketing. Quit the job. I went all in and things just started to fall together. My catalog got bigger. I probably only had 30, 40 beats when I quit my job. And so it allowed me to work on it in a lot more detail. And I just went all in. So you learned a lot of marketing techniques watching YouTube videos. What was one marketing tactic that you can say is probably one of the most effective as far as, as what you learned to do? <laughs> well, it's funny because I'm going to say it, at the time it was type beats. Looking at that and going and sort of figuring out type beats that people hadn't already used and that weren't super saturated, that was definitely something that helped me. I looked at type beats where... Someone might search for that, but you maybe only get 15 to 20 searches for that a day. But because it's so niche, when someone does search for it and it's in exactly that sound, then they're probably going to want to know more about you. So I'd say that was the first thing. It's a little bit more difficult to do that now because YouTube's a lot more saturated. But I'd say there's still, there's definitely still some sort of open ground out there of stuff that you can tap into. So last question be before we close everything out. Your geographic situation is interesting to me. You're, you're from the UK. You, you started to, to make beats for a living. And rather than move to LA or move to New York, which is what a lot of people would tell an aspiring producer to do, you moved to Panama. The, the primary reason for that um, at the time of moving here was actually because I wanted to pick up a second language. I wanted to learn Spanish. So I came over here and um, took lessons and picked up the language, um, ended up meeting my wife out here, and I'm still out here. So that was kind of the main reason. But, you know, something that, that made it all possible was the fact that I was selling beats online, that I can be here in Panama and still marketing my beats to people. Um, you know, I have clients in Japan, China, Korea, Russia, all over Europe, and obviously the States. So the fact that I can be in one place here which, you know, is a pretty remote place. I mean, it's, you know, five hours away from the States. But you know, the fact that I can be here and still market it worldwide is, is definitely something kind of amazing when you think about it. So all these artists from across the world and all these producers from across the world that, that want to get in contact with you, get your beats, download your sound kits, download your sample packs, how do they do that? Uh, for producers, my, I have a website called thesamplelab.com. I just released my first product uh, product a little while ago it's mainly all live um analog recorded samples it's really sort of soulful stuff a lot of jazz in there nice stuff to flip so yeah you guys can check that out um really affordable samples there's a lot of you know there's a lot of good content there an artist uh my website is www dreamlifebeats.com you can check my catalog out there there's probably more than 150 beats up 
um, Beats with Hooks, a lot of hip-hop stuff again. And also, I think the best way to connect with me personally is on IG, Instagram, at Dream Life Beat. And hit me up, DM me, connect with me, let's, let's um, sort of move forward. Yeah, just don't be afraid to reach out. Cool, man. And I can definitely co-sign the, the sample kiss. I've been making beats with them lately. Appreciate you sitting down and taking the time Thank to share you. your wisdom and experiences with us uh, here on the, the worldwide internet producer community. <laughs> so appreciate that. Much, much continued success to you, man. Thank you. Thank you, Ben. I appreciate it.